This quick video is going to take a look at PyNet and unlimited add-ons, which are both add-on plugins that extend the uh, collection of elements that you can use in an Elementor website. And these are two of the more popular uh, Elementor add-on packs out there. So we wanted to take a look at both of them on the back end of the website and then also within the Elementor editor and try to figure out which one offers the best value for your money. So first we're going to take a look at the pricing and what they have to offer. Then we'll take a look at them on the site. All right. So to start, we have unlimited elements for Elementor, and this is apparently the biggest and best elements library for Elementor. And their website's pretty well designed and it shows that it has over 300 premium widgets and a bunch of users. So it looks like uh, a lot of people are pleased with this offering and it has a bunch of additional utilities uh, and not, not just widgets. So we'll, we'll take a look at that in the back end of the site. Um, the pricing right now is fairly decent, $39 for one site and you get access to pretty much everything. Uh, for five sites, $99 and for all sites and limited sites, $149. So we'll be taking the look at the $39 per year uh, starter pricing and you get all the same but uh, stuff like that. We really like the fact that there is lifetime pricing that's a good uh, valuable thing for some people if you expect to be using this for over three years then lifetime pays for itself. Alright looking at Pyatnet, uh, Pyatnet is definitely one of the more well-known ones out there. Uh, we actually use this tool in our agency websites uh, and and for the sites that we're building for clients. So we'll use this. We have personal experience with this compared to unlimited elements. We uh, just checked it out now. All right, so this costs $60 and it's an unlimited license. It, it's billed per year uh, and you can also opt for your unlimited lifetime license, 160. So for the one site, it's 40. So it's basically the same. Uh, Value-wise, it's comes down to the widgets that are included with it and we'll take a look at all of them on the site and these actually are two different offerings in my opinion uh, Pyatnet is is more of a um, functionality plugin whereas unlimited elements is more of a design plugin and you'll see why I say that when we take a look at the actual plugins from the back end but uh, Basically, pricing is pretty much the same if you're a typical user. All right, let's take a look at the both of the plugins. We have them installed on our plugin walkthrough website. And here's Pyatnet, and this is the back end of Pyatnet. And we don't have the free version installed, it's only the pro. And you can toggle on and off each individual element from the back end. And you can see that there are a ton of elements, but also this this tool comes with a lot of additional utilities and not just widgets for Elementor which is why I say this is more of a functionality tool rather than a design tool. And it comes with this, uh, the design elements, but if you're looking to extend the functionality of what Elementor has originally, this is probably a better option for you. So you have your add-ons, you have form abandonment tools, which is really cool, and we'll take a look at that in a bit. You have a form database. Uh, Elementor doesn't ship with a form database, so if the emails don't work, they get lost forever. Uh, so this is cool. You can also set up form booking and this is a new addition uh, probably inspired by coronavirus. So form booking, very cool. Uh, we'll take a look at that. For unlimited elements, you actually get a lot more individual elements and they're categorized like so. But what you'll understand is that the majority of these things are fairly easy to do with HTML and CSS. If you're not looking to use HTML and CSS to do this, purchasing this add-on pack is a good idea. The uh, widgets, there are a lot of them, and they're very well designed. And as you can see, uh, they just keep coming and coming and coming. Like you, you definitely have over 300 individual widgets here. And all of these aren't installed on your website. What you need to do is go ahead and find the widget that you like, and you can actually preview the widget. So previewing it will pop it up on the unlimited elements site and you can take a look and then if you like it you simply install it and that downloads the actual file to the website and then it's accessible from the builder. So we've installed a couple here. Uh, we have all the PyatNet ones enabled so on and so forth. This also comes with templates 
But as you can see, this is much more design oriented rather than uh, functionality oriented. So they're really two different two different offerings. So now let's take a look at a uh, Elementor page. And what I'm going to do is both of them are installed on the website. So we'll just take a look at them from the back end editor, try to drag some elements on the page, stuff like that to show you the design quality. Um, we can't really measure speed. This is localhost, so I can't speak to the performance impact. Just know that we use PyNet on client websites and I've never had an issue with it. So that's just something to think about. All right, so here you'll see uh, all of the PyNet add-ons. And then here you'll see all of the widgets that we added with the unlimited elements. So first I want to take a look at unlimited elements and you just drag and drop it like any additional uh, element or widget and it shows up on the site and we're using a 2020 theme for this walkthrough website so uh, the 2020 theme styling is being applied and this is actually PyNet. where are our and I mean this proves the point PyNet is functionality but it also comes with uh, the additional stuff let's see which ones we actually installed with unlimited material pricing so material pricing is unlimited and I think I actually got confused I think this is unlimited as well but as you can see uh, fairly decent design you have a lot of customization basically what these guys did is take HTML and CSS and then skin it up and throw a uh, element into Elementor and then you can edit all of these CSS variables by using Elementor so you don't need to know the code to use these elements and they're well designed they do what they uh, say they'll do you need to change the actual you can't tap on it and change things like in the specific Elementor uh, Elements, but they're well designed and they do they do what they need to do All right, let's take a look at PyNet and kind of compare and contrast so Those first two widgets these guys are both the unlimited elements for Elementor now here we see the PyNet add-ons and there are a couple here and as you can see they're really more for functionality rather than uh, design you do have your design but PyNet is is more for functionality at least in my opinion so let's just drag and drop things and I'm going to show you exactly uh, what this has to offer so there are a lot of specific things that do different things and uh, they're very powerful features here so you have your individual elements which help you build specific parts of the website um, the form element here is incredibly powerful so you have a lot of different things that you can do uh, with forms you could add repeaters you can add e-commerce you can add stripe checkout uh, multi-step which Elementor added so that kind of invalidates the multi-step but honestly Elementor's multi-step now is a bit buggy and PyNet is not uh, and there, there's really just a lot of things that you can do with the PyNet form. Uh, if you're looking for something form-wise, PyNet is a no-brainer. Uh, but I mean, it comes with a lot of well-designed, well-thought-out uh, things that you can make use of to extend the functionality of the Elementor website. So here's just an image gallery. You get a lot of options, and it works well. All right, uh, PyNet also comes with some additional utilities that it adds to your website so uh, if you notice this is what got me confused with these two which are the unlimited widgets but PyNet comes with all of these functionality additions so these are really helpful when it comes to uh, building a website these are helpful unlimited elements are helpful if you just want more widgets but if you're looking to build the website and you need more utility there are things like that. So you get conditional visibility. You can change it for URL parameters, custom fields, stuff like that. Media query breakpoints. We did an article on this. This is a really uh, popular thing that it has to offer. Uh, conditional logic for the form, sticky headers, uh, equal height stuff. Equal height's difficult to do in Elementor, so this is a really easy thing to do. Uh, and really just a bunch of additional things here. So if you're looking to build a website, Let's conclude this video. If you're looking to build a website uh, and add more functionality with Elementor, workflow-wise, functionality-wise, 
uh, stuff like that. Pyatnet is the best option. Uh, 60 bucks for unlimited yearly license, 40 bucks for a single yearly license. And then if you're looking just for additional widgets, design elements, uh, you get a ton of widgets with unlimited elements. Uh, and they really do two different things. If you want more design stuff, go with unlimited. If you want more Pyatnet stuff, uh, or if you want more functionality stuff, go with Pyatnet. Uh, both of them are linked in the description. Purchasing from one of those links helps us. Purchasing from another link doesn't help us. Uh, but I mean, I hope this video gave you a good walkthrough of what both of these have to offer. Uh, if you liked this video, subscribe, like, uh, do all that YouTube stuff. And I uh, hope to see you back for some other review.